Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and like most people, I'm absolutely fascinated by natural disasters which have the ability to kill thousands. I mean, look at New York City after a hundred years of sea level rises. Isn't it crazy how the whole city's underwater and no one did anything about it? I mean, it's really interesting to look at sea level rise maps, and although most of these tend to be kind of doom-mongering, extreme scenarios in one direction, we're not going to see 200 meters of sea level rise, but it is very fascinating to look at what would happen if we did, which is why I figured if we're talking about extreme edge cases anyway, let's talk about the crazy edge case scenario of what it would happen if the planet had sea levels shrink by a thousand meters. What if, uh, you know, we lost all of that water to space or to, you know, increased usage or, it's, or whatever that their scenario may be. If water levels went down by a thousand meters, this is what the Earth would look like. It is very interesting from so many levels. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be talking about natural disasters a bit. And this is funny because although we are really scared of sea level rises, like this map can kind of tell you, like, Look at look at my country. It stops existing at 200 meters. Basically, uh, you can see that. Like uh, you know, although we are scared as a world of sea level rises, I think this would be just as disastrous. I mean, first things first, the UK would have to. Oh, so here you can see for some reason we, we've got Canada and the US, but you can see the UK would have a land border with France, and I I'm disgusted just thinking about the idea. You can also see uh, that it does solve one problem at least because right now the UK is kind of strange. That if you look at us as a country, we're disconnected. Like there's 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 like the UK over there, Great Britain, there's Northern Ireland, and then there's the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands. They're all separate islands that just kind of exist together. Would it be much more convenient if we were just one big blob? I mean, clearly that wouldn't happen because of places like Rockall, but it's still nice to imagine. Also, the UK would gain land borders of Belgium, Netherlands, Denmark, Germany, uh, and, and also a bit of Norway. I think Norwegians uh, would do really well from this. Look at Norway. <laughs> they become also one giant landmass. Russia gets a bit bigger, but no one even notices. They just get a little bit more smooth, as you can see right here. And uh, I think the biggest differences are Australia becomes huge and suddenly has a land border with its nearby neighbors. So this is Australia now bordering Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. Indonesia is probably having a great time because they have to pay for way fewer ferries around their nation. In fact, the Philippines too. Like right now, to get from certain places in that country to other places, you have to go on like eight ferries and it takes hours and hours and hours. After this, you just drive right across. However, uh, the reason it'd be a big disaster is because shipping uh, places would close. I mean, obviously, it goes without saying that canals can't really exist when there's no water. So the Panama canal would go missing as Panama gets wide. Mexico also gets chunky. Uh, the US and Canada, uh, they, they again, they, their border is mostly the same, but Canada becomes a mega country because all of the uh, land up north is just as unusable, but now there's less, uh, there's fewer lakes there. Seriously, if you look on a map at Canada, it's kind of wild that just like, yeah, all of this is water and is not usable, but all of the land is basically unusable too because of all the water that kind of permeates it, and also the fact that it's so far north. Like, Canada is just filled with land they technically own, but like, what are they going to do with? And, uh, you know, that's, that's a fun conflict that will be resolved with this map. Also, I have to mention, I looked at the US-Canada border here, and I was like, that... There must be something wrong with this. Like, the Alaska-Canadian border just looks wrong. Is that something about the water level rising? And I guess I never really paid attention to where it was before. But the Alaska-Canada border is the most arbitrary one in the world. Like, look at this. Like, it, it, I know it follows mountains, like, on a technicality. But it's like, why does this land here need to belong to America? What What is the what is the benefit to America of owning uh, the land around the Devil's Thumb? <laughs> Do they really call it that? Can you climb the Devil's Thumb? That feels like a crime. I, you know, I reckon if you wanted to cross from the US to Canada illegally, I bet this would be the place to do that. And if you want advice on where to cross borders illegally, make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll finish uh, looking at this map. I could do it all day, because like, look at, look at wide, uh, wait, I, I didn't even realize this till right now. Look at wide Argentina over there, also bordering the UK now. Yeah, I guess places like France and the UK would do really, really well out of this because we already control the maritime areas. Now the maritime area becomes real area, right? I mean, look at um, Réunion over here. Um, so French Guiana uh, doesn't get much wider. Uh, but if we look over here, you can see like, oh... Okay, it's actually not that much bigger. It's Mauritius that gets uh, huge, whereas the British Indian Island Territory gets a lot bigger. The Maldives, which is currently terrified of like, do we exist as a country in 20 years time? Is like, yeah, we're a big country now. Well, actually, you know, they're still pretty small, but they're not the smallest country uh, and the soonest to be gone country. Also, New Zealand. What's going on with you over there, friends? Like, uh, seriously, t take a look at New Zealand. What is happening? <laughs> it is unrecognizable, uh, which I guess is a fun fact. Uh, so yeah, sea levels could obviously go down a thousand meters in a very real scenario that would leave the world cut off in terms of trade 
Because now there's no more Mediterranean Sea, by the way. Like, Gibral Spain Spain borders Morocco in more places. Italy borders Tunisia. Uh, there's just no way to get shipping done for lots of places around the world. I mean, ignoring the fact that you wouldn't be able to ship things to the UK because we barely have... We'd have to build a new port on this new piece of land. It'd be a whole nightmare for most countries. The world economy would collapse. Uh, there would be immediate wars over these borders, like... You know, why are we got, you know, midway through, maybe the European countries get it done fine. But what about, uh, you know, the new US Bahamas border? What about uh, all of these extra, <laughs> there's going to be wars around the world, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, also we would all die. But ignoring uh, that fact, let's talk about sea level rises. So um, if you look at the current map of the world, it looks like this. This is the map with uh, zero levels of water rise. And then you add like one meter, which, you know, we probably will reach at some point in our lifetimes, you might assume, and it looks mostly the same. Like, if you look real close, you can start to see, like, okay, there's some places that uniformly would do quite badly from that, unless we install defenses, and then you then you up it up to, like, maybe, like, three meters, and you're like, okay, wow, three meters of sea level rise. Bear in mind, that's, like, one and a half people. For, for my American viewers, that's, like, a, a, a kettle of fish, I want to say, I guess, uh, you know, I, I I like to just make up old-timey sounding things like, that's a cracker barrel right there. So imagine five cracker barrels, that's about three meters. Anyway, um, so if you look at the uh, you look at the map, it's like kind of bad already. I don't think anything beyond three meters is massively likely, but since we're having fun with it, let's just say that like we're way off about sea level rises. We all know we're screwed. Because even by the way, three meters, if you look at London, it's like already like, ooh, yeah, there's some pockets like... It's, it's not looking so great, but you up that to 30 meters, and all of a sudden, boom, London's gone. My, the city I live in, it just, it didn't, no, lo, no longer exists. In fact, now the Thames is like a massive separation between North and South right there. You can see just how much of the UK goes missing at this level. And again, 30 meters is quite a bit above what we're really imagining. But let's just say, no, we're so wildly wrong. It's not 30 meters, it's 100 meters. Now, the UK basically ceases to exist as an island. It becomes a series of islands that are connected together, which I guess is how the UK, uh, as I discussed before, is basically true. Ireland does not, there, there is no longer uh, a tax haven uh, to the way, to the west of the Great Britain. It's just all gone. There's, there's, there's none of that happening anymore. All the corporate HQ is going to have to move to, you know, go, what country does well? Switzerland. Switzerland at 100 meters of water level rise. Seriously, they, they, the apocalypse level water level rises. The only way that it affects Switzerland is like, ah, uh, yes, the global economy is not very, this is a Swiss accent apparently, is not very good. By the way, I have to mention, this website is like, oh, if you want to have a large map with a full screen option, you got to pay $9 a month. But uh, look at me, I got my $9 a month sorted. See, I'm uh, saving money left and right here. But if we, look, if we look at the map more seriously, you can see that like, yeah, at, a, at 100 meters, things are, are pretty disastrous for lots of places around the world. I'm, I'm mostly shocked by the places that it isn't. Like, you know, the East Coast, where most of the people in the US live, is gone. But most of the land area besides California, apparently, uh, it's fine. Like, for real, I, you know, Las Vegas is apparently where I should stay for, uh, sea level rises, because it's, it's fine. It, it, there's literally no difference in anything anywhere nearby, but, uh, obviously, one of the things I like to, because, you know, this, this video kind of comes about because, like, oh, yeah, there's, uh, every, every single, like, couple of years, because there's a lot of people who go to Florida, it's like, oh, you hear about that big one in Florida? And it's like, well, they can't all be a big one. If it's a big one every year, then it's just a part of living in Florida. So, Hurricane Ian hit, and wow, it's so bad, and apparently there's a flesh-eating illness. <laughs> I don't know what that even means, but that sounds kind of bad. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, like, there's, there's, there's people dying, and it's a whole thing. It keeps happening, and people keep thinking, like, oh, I'll just live in Florida now, this won't happen again. Just accept, you, you live in Florida, there's lots of terrible things, you know, there's there's benefits too, but lots of terrible things are going to happen to you. That is the fact of living in Florida. However, uh, now that we've discussed that, uh, I try to look for a natural disaster map around the world. Because I, there's, a, in some part of the US, there's like, oh, there's earthquakes, or there's like hurricanes, or there's tornadoes, and tornadoes are very different to hurricanes, of course. Um, yeah, and, and like, there's there's always a big list of natural disasters that are like, maybe going to kill a bunch of people. I, 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 I was, I, I lived for a hurricane when I was in uh, New York 
uh, for, for a little bit last year. And it's like, you know, this isn't normal. Like, my building was shaking a lot, and I, I didn't like that. But everyone's just like, yeah, this is just life. Living in, in certain part of the country here. Um, in, uh, you know, for instance, uh, we'd be talking about sea level uh, rise and stuff. Uh, in, in Vegas, every single month, they're like, yeah, we might run out of water. And it's like, that sounds bad. That doesn't sound good. So here's a map of natural disasters. But it doesn't, it just says there's a very high risk in Central Africa. There's a very low risk in Canada and most of Europe. Uh, it's kind of high in the Netherlands because, oh, I probably should have uh, gone through this. Like, if you look at the map, if you look at the flood risk map, at 100 meters where Switzerland is unaffected, the Netherlands is gone. Like, it's not even like, oh, yeah, it's like a little gone. It's like, no, it's all the way gone. There is no more Netherlands. Is the Falkland Islands still there? They're barely there. They're hanging on. That's what counts. You know, there's probably a lot of places. Like, I bet Gibraltar, relatively flat. Yeah, there we go. Gibraltar, if we want to saw, Oh, no, the mountains, obviously. I'm... <laughs> Gibraltar's known for one thing, really. It's mountains, and I'm like, it's a flat place. I mean, uh, yeah, the, the... Gibraltar becomes an island, and we solve the Spanish border issue, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of fun uh, solutions to a lot of fun problems. Is... How, how's Malta doing over there? Ooh, got, got, yeah, it's not going great for you. Anyway, so let's let's go back to natural disasters. So, um, yeah, this is like kind of taking them all together. So I tried to find like where are specific places at risk because everyone knows there's the Ring of Fire. Everyone knows that like some places are more susceptible to volcanoes like Iceland. Uh, but like I wanted to know like what is the big, um, what is the big like everywhere? What are the risks there? And I found this map. It is oh. It's a very strange map. It's missing missing a big chunk over there. But it's meant to tell you, like, where are the big disasters happening now? And uh, it does sound really cool in that way. But as you zoom in closer, it's like, okay, well, in Belfast, there was an avian influenza prevention zone. Well, I guess that is, I guess, a form of natural disaster. A pandemic, you know, maybe is starting in Northern Ireland. Probably not a big deal. Um, but, like, you know, for instance, like, there's a drought... Or that, yeah, drought actually counts, but a social incident, uh, two people in a knife attack in Ludwig Shevin, uh, I mean, you know, that is, that's not a natural disaster, that's just a bad thing that happened. I do think it'd be more useful if we displayed bad things that happened, because you know how the news would sensationalize, like, Germany is under attack, two people stabbed by extremists, as like, ah yes, in the small city of Ludwig Shevin, there was a couple of stabbings, you know, it's uh, normal stuff, well, you know, seeing that, like, there wasn't a mass wave of them across the country or the continent. Makes you feel better. Like, you know, sure, someone's house burned down. Oh, no, it was a Jesus statue that burnt down. A, shri a Jesus shrine that burnt down in uh, in Malta over there. Um, you know, I clearly they learned what's going to happen when sea level rises. And they they decided, I can't believe in a god that would let this happen. Seriously, look at look at this. They're, 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 their capital's all underwater. Anyway, so... I keep going back to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we if we go if we zoom in this map, it kind of shows you where bad things happen all over the world. Like, was there a raccoon? No, there was an, a grizzly bear attack. See that? See that? It's it's kind of hard to work out what should be on the list, what shouldn't be. Like, okay, there's a gas leak. That's clearly not a natural disaster. Um, and yeah, I think I I, I would love to know. Uh, internet. This is where I put put a question to you. Have you found a good map that tells you like? Where all the natural terrible things that happen are gonna happen. Like, look at me, by the way, you know, of Las Vegas. Wow, look how far we are from anything happening. There's, uh, there's a mosquito fire. What is a mosquito fire? Oh, I should not look at this map. This is, you know, what, what does that mean? Are the mosquitoes on fire? Did the mosquitoes start the fire? I, I, I can't think of a logical thing that means mosquito fire. Um, we've got an earthquake. Okay, well, they're in the ring of fire. We got, like, um... We got a fire in, but there was a house fire. What do you know? I I hear, I, I hear those are preventable. Uh, you just gotta unplug your laptop batteries and subscribe to their YouTube channels, I guess. Anyway, yeah, you can also filter. Uh, I'll show you on the right here. You can filter a little bit by like, do you want to see exclusively floods? Oh, you can filter things out actually. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, that like social events, like that's not gonna count. That 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 shouldn't be on the list. So, um, which one of these is that? Are they in the other category? No, they're not. They're in the what what category are they in? <laughs> I guess in critical infrastructure, social instant. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is a map of actual bad things. Oh, look at that. There's a red one in Chad. Chad floods leave victim in despair. I mean, I'm imagining some of them are dying too, right? They're, there's not just a lot of sad people in Chad. I, I, I'm guessing. And then we got over here in Jakarta, fire in a built environment. Oh, a giant mosque collapsed. Now that is interesting. A lot of religious structures going down. Um, in India, there's a storm. You know, it's 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 a cool idea. I, I wish more information should be presented 
on the world wide. Here is what's happening terribly in the in the world today scale. Don't you think? Like, you know, there's a, a, a there's a dengue and chikungunya update. That sounds bad. Biological epidemic, humans. Guess who's excited? I, you know, I, that, that's what I'm saying. We, if, if we all knew that today there was extreme rainfall in the Russia Federation, maybe you could expect that there might be more extreme rainfall. Maybe you could assume that when there's a, a outbreak of flesh-eating bacteria, <laughs> or there's a small plane crashing into a, a, a home's roof, Man, that sucks, actually. But yeah, I, I think uh, this is the sort of thing that's interesting to see. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I don't care. Because as you know, by the way, uh, I uh, I, find, I I got a handle for my my third channel. It's at Andrew And. And I realize now, like, that sounds like it's a channel saying, like, Andrew and something else. But it's a channel where I exclusively talk to myself. I uh, I got some confused comments being like, wow, Toy Cat, this, this, you know, this geography thing you do is way more views than your main channel. And I was like, uh, sorry, way more subscribers than your main channel. And I was like, are you sure about that? And it only hit me because I was like, got scrolling through and I realized when I was uploading a new video that I have it in my default description that my main channel, uh, probably my main channel, is, uh, is the third channel. And I just think that's kind of fun, personally. So, just in case you are someone who's been confused by that, because I, I guess I like to put silly things in my description, uh, then you can do that. I mean, who's going to read a description anyway? Not most people. But if you don't like um, reading descriptions, uh, then maybe you'd like to give me money. We, we went down one patron, so if you want to give me money, I will make the pledge right now that it'll make no difference to this channel whatsoever. I am I could use the money to vastly improve the channel or make exclusive or interesting content. Nah, it's just a, just a blatant cash grab. Uh, I would like money, and if you want to give it to me, you can. And if you don't want to, then that's cool too. I hope that you found this video to be interesting. Uh, and if you didn't, then, you know, that's on you, isn't it? So thank you for watching, second channel. Don't care. Goodbye.